Helito, it's your girl Chili Yona, and I'm back with another video. Mm. Mm. Now, y'all know I've been trying to tie up the loose ends because I've been saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a part two to this video. And the girl, I end up forgetting about it and let years go by and forget to even do a part two. So I did a part one to this originally face, body, and war paint. Um, you can see um, the first part. Here, I'm gonna put a card in the top right corner right here. So you can click on it, you know, search on my YouTube channel, it's just right there for you. And also, put, we'll put it in the description box below so you can look at it. But y'all, y'all gave me so much love when it came to this video because, um, the first part of this video, y'all gave me like what 3.9 views. Now, baby, I'm like, okay, okay, I see you supporting your girl, okay. I didn't think y'all would really like this topic as much, but um, some of y'all uh, would know that I used to paint my face too. Um, I used to be very into like face painting and stuff. Uh, I don't know why I stopped, but yeah, anytime when I did it, I felt like so powerful and I felt like it was a different way to express myself. So, but yeah, so I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. And before we get into it, y'all, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. And if you are new, subscribe, baby, subscribe. You ain't got to be looking outside from the window, baby. Come on in. Come on in. Ain't nobody telling you we can't come up in here. It costs you nothing to like and subscribe. I'm just saying. All right, today's agenda, we're going to be talking about why did our people paint themselves? Um, colors and their meanings. Symbols and their meanings. Tribes that, uh, that did war and body painting. Okay, so that we're going to be talking about those topics in this video. Okay, why did Origini tribes paint themselves? Well, there are several um, reasons on why we painted ourselves. Uh, for one, uh, we had we had our war paint. Okay, war paint. Um, we use that to intimidate our enemies uh, when we're going into battle or during warfare. Okay, and um, for certain tribes, um, war paint, face, and body paint would indicate achievements and success, okay? Um, we also use uh, paint to camouflage ourselves when we're hunting and doing warfare so we can blend into the environment and um, surprise our enemies, okay? Um, we also use um, paint for our ceremonies, you know, our dances and our rituals, uh, specific colors and patterns were used. And we also uh, painted ourselves to uh, give a visual messages, you know, victory or mourning. Um, you know, they were indicated by the application of face and body paint, okay? We also painted ourselves uh, for mental preparation, okay, the medicine man, uh, would often choose markings, certain markings for warriors, and that powerful magic was passed on during the application of the war paint, um, helping the warrior to believe that he's invincible or he's going to win the fight or, you know, whatever. Okay. Paint was also used as an element in spiritual healing. Um, it was also believed that the application of certain symbols and colors afforded the wear. Uh, who was wearing it with magic and power and protection by drawing on the natural powers and combining these with the power of the warrior. Okay. And um, these symbols included stripes, circles, triangles, so on and so forth. Okay. Colors and their meanings. Okay. Red uh, represented blood and energy. Um, it was also used uh, for good luck and success in battle. And also peace on itself, the beauty and family happiness. Now, I do want to point out that um, not every tribe is the same, although there are, there are plenty of tribes um, in um, the Americas that did somebody paint. I just want to point out that 
um, this is general, you know, this is general for, um, you know, the tribes in America, not each and every tribe may have the same um, meaning for the colors that they use, you know, so I just wanted to point that out there. But um, generally speaking, um, this is what they meant um, to us. Okay, um, black uh, represented readiness for war, aggression and strength. Um, this color was required when returning with a victory. Okay, white means grief or peace. Um, the elite of the tribe would paint themselves uh, with blue or green. Wives are enlightened, as well as people who know how to communicate with spirits and gods. Green also carried ha a harmony and vibration. Okay, blue uh, symbolizes wisdom and confidence. Yellow, the color of death, also indicated that the uh, wearer was heroic, had led a good life, and was willing to fight to the death. It also symbolized intellect as well. Now, um, the colors purple and brown were not generally used as face or war paint, so they say. Okay, and then we're gonna go on to the stumbles and their meanings, okay? Uh, the appearance of the palm imprint on the face usually indicated that the warrior was skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and was an ex, ex oh my goodness, ex, excellent, oh my goodness, y'all made it. think I can't read, I'm so sorry, y'all. My throat is dry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, excellent invisibility, scout. This element served as a guide for reliable protection for women of their own or affiliated tribes. In many tribes, vertical red lines on the cheeks and above indicated the number of enemies killed. Black horizontal stripes on one of the cheeks were a sign of this for some tribes. The number of combat bounce was indicated by vertical marks on the neck. Before the battle, some tribes painted their faces black in whole or in part, and the majority did so after the victorious battle before returning home. The area around the eyes was frequently circled or painted over. This usually meant that the adversary would be unable to hide and the warrior would attack him and defeat him using spirits or magic. Injuries are signified by red paint. A successful captivity escape was indicated by transverse lines on the wrists or arms. The warrior was beating on foot or horseback as implied by parallel lines on the hips. Okay, we're gonna go talk about some of the tribes. Um, obviously, a lot, all if not many, tribes here in the, in the Americas participated in the um in the face paint, in the body paint. Um, maybe not all, but almost all, um, but uh, yes, we have the Brazilian tribes, and to them, they used the, uh, the war and body and face paint for societal ranking, for transformation, transform the wearer into an animal or a god so that they can be able to take on their powers. Um, they also use this for coming of age um, and also for ceremonies too. And then I also wanted to point um, this out too um, from the Blackfoot tribe. I thought that was cool because I was looking up images to like just put up there because I'm like, oh my God, like there's so many tribes that, um, you know, that participated in wearing like war paint and body paint and face paint and stuff. Like it's, it's just not enough hours in a day. Well, at least for me because I'm not going to be going on for hours and hours about which tribes that did it. Okay. It's, it's a lot, baby. It's a lot. So, yes. Um, I thought this picture was cool. She she looked kind of familiar to me from the side. So, I was like, okay, why not just post her? You know, so, I mean, I may not like it because, you know, she don't she don't got that negroid look. But I'm not, I don't discriminate. It is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. This is just for presentation. Um, and, and just give y'all guys an example. Okay, but this is from um, George Catlin. Uh, 1832 painting of a woman from the Blackfeet Nation. 
Okay. And then we also have woodland um, Indians. Face paint um, is very important to woodland Indians, you know. Um, we wear them to express feelings or for special occasions. Before going to war, uh, we painted ourselves, performed magical rites, and took sacred medicines. So basically, just kind of like the same, um, you know, info over and over. But, uh, not really the same information over and over, but it's, it's similar. It's similar. A lot of, a lot of this is similar. Um, you know, uh, for the most part, um, we used war paint for the same reasons. So, so yeah, not, not much uh, of a difference there. Okay. And thank y'all guys so much for watching. If you like this content, you would like to see more, um, join my Patreon, okay? Patreon.com slash Sheliana or join my YouTube membership, okay? I'm going to be coming up with so much more content like this. And not only that, um, I plan on um, making a video um, about Texas Indians, too. So I'm going to be going over more information about Texas Indians. And also, too, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, the history here in the town um, um, nearby to me. Um, it's, it's a very uh, piece of historic information. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. It's a surprise, but when it pops up, you just go, no, okay, because um, the South has very ancient indigenous um, um, history. And I was just reading how um, Louisiana has you know, the oldest um, mounds in, you know, in America. So definitely I'll be coming up with more content like that. Definitely coming up with more content talking about the mounds and all that other good stuff, baby. So you just, just join or or just it's, stay tuned, baby. Stay tuned because so much more is coming. Okay, don't forget to um, visit my uh, store, shoporigining.com. Um, we have also... Uh, more content for y'all that's looking for your genealogy or to correct your ethnicity status and also um just a whole bunch of authorial things you know we just don't only provide apparel to flex on these haters okay we provide information um that help you too so don't forget to check out our blogs too because um i i do try to add um new new blogs to our uh website each month so definitely check that out and join our email list okay so thank y'all guys so much for watching and until the next time bye